today we are going to do one of the hardest 2k rebuilding challenges we are going to take a 40 overall team watch them go 0 and 82 and then try to turn this team around and go 82 and 0. so what is going on everybody how is everybody doing today i've yet to do this challenge in 2k24 so i'm very excited my last video was a wizards rebuild and the roster that i downloaded with the 40 overall team was with the wizard so i did relocate it to buffalo so we're apparently the buffalo wings i know right real creative <laughs> which is kind of funny that we're in the southeast division as well and there's even like another obstacle in this rebuild challenge because don humphreys james smith and michael davis and david miller and james smith five players are making the max and those contracts are going to be untradeable as well. Oh my goodness. Yep, that's all our cap space. Yeah, this is going to be a challenge. Our first game of the year, we lost by 90 points. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, it's going to be a rough season. Luckily, though, for the Wizards, they pretty much always get their first round pick. There's like a top 18 protection on it going forward. But I promise you, yeah, we're probably not going to be better than the top um, or probably the worst team in the league for at least a few seasons. Like, we're gonna go 0-82 this year. It's a shame, but it's part of the challenge. It is brutal to watch this, and just the fact that there's max contracts on this team makes it even worse. So, 2K is being annoying and is making me sign some players, so we're just gonna basically sign a 62 overall and a 69 overall. So, maybe we'll get some wins now. But yeah, you can't go down to zero overall just because uh, 2K has a, yeah, pretty much a minimum limit at 40 overall. So, hey, this is as worse as you can get. We're gonna to go 0 and 82 i'll see you guys at the end of the year and basically we're gonna have mainly 40 overalls on this team next year but hey we're gonna get a top five pick nonetheless now i don't even know if i could trade nope so these max contracts i'm stuck with wow yeah this is gonna be a top challenge and there it is we have officially gone 0 and 82 we did get rookie of the year marshall gilbert though he averaged 27 points and 15 rebounds it's probably the only good player on this team hey maybe he's a building block for us going forward that should warrant an overall boost am i right hopefully he has some progression he was on all nba second team all right well i guess we'll take that i mean it doesn't really mean much he was actually on all defensive first team as well he averaged 2.8 blocks and 1.8 seals who was this guy and all rookie first team obviously and we got al terrell also on all rookie first team as it was pretty much a two-man show yeah once we signed these guys we ended up going and scoring around like 70 points a night rather than 40 so shout out to terrell and Gilbert, if we take a look at the team stats this season and offensive rating, we were dead last than 71. And defensive rating dead last as well. We had a negative 72 point differential. Yeah, I'm sorry, Wes Unsell, that you have to coach this squad. So let's just get into the offseason. How funny would it be if we end up with the fifth overall pick? You have the Heat and the Grizzlies in the finals and the Memphis Grizzlies win in six. John Morant is your finals MVP. And there goes LeBron. He said, what happened to the game I loved? Now watching a team go 0-82 this season, we did... I guess end up signing Rudy Gay towards the end of the year. I wish one of my max players could retire. That would have been nice. Okay, with the league realignment, they want to throw Philly in the Southeast. I guess they are the most South team out of these five, so it does make sense. Shout out to 2K knowing its geography. All right, Jeff, lottery time. Please, lottery gods, do not drop me from one to five. Yeah, it's going to say Houston owns our pick from the Russell Westbrook trade. Please don't drop me to five. Okay, we end up with number two. I will definitely take that. It could have been so much worse. So yeah, we will take that. I think 10 times out of 10. Now we are going to move on from West Unseld. We are not going to go and kind of destroy Greg Popovich's career. We're going to get Michael Stauffer to be our head coach going forward. Four-year deal for him. So it is also going to be an auto-generated draft class because I thought it'd be a little bit cheesy as well since sometimes the 2K draft classes you downloaded, the players are really good really quickly. So it looks like we are ending up with one of either Clifton McDaniel out of Illinois State or Dario uh, Jovanovic. Yo, yeah. Jovanovic, probably that. Um, and his ceiling is Michael Jordan. So I think that would definitely be the pick. So let's see who the uh, Oklahoma City Thunder take with the number one overall pick. They take Marvin Tavares out of UCLA, a center, 77 overall, 22 years old. I think I'm going to go with Dario here. And he's a shooting guard. He's 19 years old. His ceiling could be Michael Jordan. So I think we have to take that out of Sylvania. He may average 50 points per game next year because who else on this team is going to score? We also have a semi-high second round pick. Um, and I'm going to take Patrick Carney, a center out of Georgetown shout out Andre Drummond there I was like did Andre Drummond go to Georgetown but now he, he went to UConn I was probably thinking of Greg Monroe so it looks like Dario Jovanovic is the best player from this class or at least it looks like in the top 10 hopefully don't butcher his name too much sorry if I am um Patrick Carney 74 overall in the second round we will definitely take that uh we have no team player options 
And for free agency, um, I guess I should bring back Marshall Gilbert and Altero. Terrell, I can't speak. And we just have no cap space whatsoever. So let's go ahead and sign Isaiah Joe. That would be kind of an elite pickup. Let's get Derek Jones Jr. as well. I feel like I should offer him a two-year deal in case there is a trade to be made. And boom, we get Isaiah Joe and Derek Jones Jr. We are going to be so bad. So we're going to renounce the rights on the 40 overalls that are free agents. And we're going to sign Isaiah Joe and Derek Jones Jr. Let's pick up Jordan McLaughlin as well on the minimum. There we go. And then let's also pick up Grayson Allen. Hopefully land him on a two-year deal. And we get Grayson Allen. That's kind of huge. There's Jordan. So we got another Jordan here. Um, let's go out and try to get Joe Harris. We may get outbid for him. Yeah, he goes to the Raptors. All right, I'll try to get Sam Hauser. Can we get George Brooks as well on a two-year deal? Um, I think we should be able to sign him on that. That would actually be a huge pickup. Boom, but we can't afford Hauser. I'm gonna try to sign Mirza Fasenko, and we are able to. So we get Gilbert and we get Al Terrell back. I do want to say AJ Terrell so badly because he's a NFL cornerback and their names are so similar. But Isaiah Joe goes up, same with Jones Jr. and George Brooks, and then McLaughlin, Gilbert, Ter uh, Terrell. But yeah, uh, Dario Jovanovic is going to be our top guy next year. All right, so the team under Michael Stauffer is gonna look somewhat like this. I think we do need to start. Uh, Dario, and then I would like Carney to get some minutes as well. So I think we're going to go 10 to Gilbert and um, Al Terrell. Um, James Smith, you are not going to play. Carney, you can get 20... Two minutes a night, we'll do 28 to Allen and uh, Isaiah Joe, and then we're going to give Dario 31 minutes a night. So system proficiency, pace, and space under Michael Stauffer is one and a half stars. We unfortunately still have some 40 overall players on the team just because I got to pay a couple of them for the next couple of seasons. This one is just brutal. Why does it have to go into 2028? Hey, we're, there we go. We get our first win of the video. We win 107-104. Isaiah Joe had 21 points. George Brooks had 20 points and nine rebounds. Fasenko had 19 and 7. It only took us 85 games, but we finally got our first dub. I wonder if we'll get more than five wins this season. Hey, we just dropped 140 on the Jazz. We might actually be okay. All right, so we're here at the trade deadline with a 13 and 37 record. Honestly, not too bad. This is way better than I thought we'd be. Dario's shooting 34 from three, almost 44 from the field in his rookie season. Just turned 20 years old. There's George Brooks averaging 14.7.7 rebounds. Isaiah Joe, 40% from three. Patrick Carney shooting 53% from the field. We are here at the deadline. And I think I'm going to make one move, but I'm not sure what it's going to be. We're going to do this trade with the Denver Nuggets. We're giving them Fasenko and Jordan McLaughlin. We're getting Peyton Watson and Colin Gillespie in this deal. Isaiah Joe, I'm hoping is a restricted free agent at the end of the year, and we're able to bring him back. And the last trade we are going to make is going to be Colin Gillespie and Marshall Gilbert for John Conchar and Javon Freeman Liberty, who's a 25-year-old untracked player out of DePaul. So I will see you guys at the end of the year, and we're on the way to hopefully getting another top pick in the draft. So we see Nicole Jokic win MVP this this year. Dario Jovanovic is your rookie of the year. Jaden Hardy, six man of the year. Mobley Depoy, most improved goes to Osor Thompson. Steph Curry, clutch player of the year. Did we get anybody on a team at all for the Buffalo Wings? Uh, no, just Dario probably. And Carney and Brooks on all rookie first team. All right, I'll take that. All those guys too are under contract next year. Patrick Carney was actually pretty solid. So we ended this season with a 25 and 57 record, but hey, that's 25 more wins than we had last year. So I will take that. Here were the numbers too. Dario had 19.7 points, 13.8 for Brooks, 13 for Carney, 12.7 for Isaiah Joe, and he shot 40% from three. There's Derek Jones Jr., Allen, Peyton Watson. We, there's that. We will get the plus minus here. Who was like the most negative player? I guess it was George Brooks. Damn. You have the Warriors and the Cleveland Cavaliers in the finals, just like we saw throughout the mid-2010s. And Evan Mobley is your finals MVP as the Cavs beat the Warriors in six. Chris Paul retires. He for sure will be going to the Hall of Fame. There it is. So in 2025, our pick is top 10 protected. So it ends up at number one. That means we're going to be able to keep that. Let's go. It's top eight protected next year. And if it's not uh, going to the Rockets by then, it turns into two second rounders. But hey, that is huge. We have the number one overall pick in this draft. Now, what would make this challenge even harder would be to not even owning your first round picks either. I don't even know how you'd improve your team. So taking a look here at the mock drafts, Matthew House Jr. out of Northern Iowa. Projected number one pick, Rick Barry could be his ceiling. Jim Gardner, also a guy. Okay, an 83 overall, potentially, it says in the top right. His ceiling is Akeem Olajuwon. 
That kind of seems like a no-brainer. Um, so yeah, we could take Garrison Mason. Probably not. Um, I think it's going to be Jim Gardner. We are going to select Matthew House Jr. Does look pretty solid. But yeah, we are going to go with Jim Gardner, the center here out of Michigan. And he's an 82 overall. Let's go. We have our second round pick as well. We are going to end up with Ed Sullivan getting more center depth here. That means we could look to trade George Brooks. Whoa, and would you look at this? We could attach James Smith to George Brooks and John Conchar and get Paul George. That's how negative his value is, I guess, right now. We will take that, and boom. We just added Paul George to this team, and we get off one of the really bad contracts. All right, so we um, obviously have the number one pick there. We're going to sign him in Ed Sullivan. Team player options, Peyton Watson, Patrick Carney, welcome back. I think I could look to trade Patrick Carney. Uh, I'm going to let both these guys walk. Maybe I'll bring back Javon Freeman Liberty. So I'm like debating, do I want to like trade Paul George? All right, and I have the trade we're going to pull off right now. Wow. All right, Paul George and Patrick Carney. We are going to trade to the Sacramento Kings for De'Aaron Fox. Well, now we have our franchise point guard in De'Aaron Fox. We have our franchise center, possibly in Jim Gardner and Dario Jovanovic as our kind of franchise too. So I like the team right now. It's definitely moving in somewhat of a better direction. We could use some more big man depth. So I'm going to get Sasha Vizenkov hopefully on a two-year deal. Boom. Oh, Isaiah Joe is a free agent, but unfortunately, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to bring him back, sadly. I don't think we will be able to. Damn, wait, Keontae George was let go? Um, I'd rather sign Keontae George over Sasha Vizenkov for sure. All right, that is a huge pickup. We're probably just going to pick up like Hayward Highsmith here. And we're going to do this trade where I'm able to get off another max contract in James Smith. Peyton Watson, Grayson Allen, and James Smith for Cody Martin and PJ Washington. All right, so Dario's up to an 83 overall. Fox is an 89. I mean, we could flirt with the playoffs this year. We're definitely still a long ways from going 82 and 0, but hey, we're off to a pretty good start. All right, so yeah, the big three minutes will go to Fox, Dario, and Jim Gardner. I think I want to actually do 35 to each of them as well. And we can give some more minutes to, I think, like Ed Sullivan. Why not? And PJ Washington. So pace and space under Michael Stauffer is three stars. For the bad max contracts, we just have two left yeah 21 million um so it drops by 5 million then goes back up to 24 million okay um but then yeah we're owing this michael davis guy 68 million dollars over the next two years first game of the year at home against the warriors we did lose dario had 31 points this could be a huge year two for him and we ended up dropping 131 on the Spurs, picking up our first win in just game number two. All right, so here at the trade deadline, we are 21 and 31. So, I mean, like, not great. We're 10 games below 500. But Dario is going off in year two, 49% from the field, 38 from three. De'Aaron Fox, 23 points, just under eight assists a night. There's Keontae George, who's done all right for us off the bench. Could be better, could be worse. There's Jim Gardner as a rookie. And I feel like we are in position to maybe make a trade right now if we wanted to. Remember, I don't know if I need to upgrade my team too much. Our pick is top eight protected this year. Please tell me De'Aaron Fox wants to. Okay, he wants to test free agency. Let's bring back P.J. Washington for now because then I can move him on draft night. Same with Cody Martin. So you know what? I don't think I'm really going to make any moves right now. Our priority number one in the offseason will be to bring back De'Aaron Fox. I'm okay with losing more games because I'd like my draft pick one more time before we start doing well. Jokic takes home another MVP this season. We get rookie of the year in Jim Gardner. 15 points, 10 and a half rebounds, 5 assists tonight, 1.2 blocks. There's a Sword Thompson, 6 man of the year. Giannis Depoy, most improved Rolando Fletcher. Clutch player of the year, Tyrese Maxey. We got De'Aaron Fox on all NBA third team. Shout out to a Buffalo wing. We get Jim Gardner and Ed Sullivan on all rookie first team. Shout out to Noah Clowney getting on it, even though he's been drafted three years ago. So we did not make the play in tournament, which could be a good thing. Our pick, like I said, is top eight protected. We may need to get a little bit lucky in the draft lottery. I'm not too sure, but we definitely have some building blocks going forward. I think like this top four, even we could leverage Kante George's trade value. Um, we could look to make some draft night moves in the offseason if we want to move on from P.J. Washington or Cody Martin. You have the Pelicans and the Orlando Magic who have Evan Mobley in the NBA Finals and the Magic win in seven with Evan Mobley being your Finals MVP. Russell Westbrook retires as a Cav. All right, draft lottery time. Our pick needs to be in the top eight for us to keep it. We just can't fall from seven and nine. So let's see what happens here. Just don't do that. And we ended up with, oh my God, the ninth overall pick. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh, that is so unlucky. So now I got to give that pick to 
Houston for the correct lottery odds. I'm not here to scheme the system at all. That is just brutal, man. You know how lucky we had to be from to drop from seven and nine? Oh, that sucks so much. All right, so we do have three second rounders at least. And we can get off one of the last contracts here, Don Humphreys. We just have that one more Michael Smith one. But we're going to trade two seconds, PJ Washington and Humphreys, for a 2026 first from Golden State and Clay Thompson, who I'm going to hope to flip right now. And I'm going to trade Clay and pick 34 for Bruce Brown from the Miami Heat. So we do have pick 26 from the Warriors. All right, so we are going to package our last terrible contract. Michael Davis is expiring. Deal pick 26 and Cody Martin for two future first round picks from the Detroit Pistons, one in 27, one in 29. One of those is top three protected. So finally, finally, we get off of those abysmal contracts. This means we do not have a first round pick in this draft, but that is fine with me. It looks like maybe it was a weak class as well. I would have probably had to take another center. So let's pick up Dario's team option, Keontae George and Ed Sullivan as well. Luka Doncic is a free agent. Um, we're going to have a lot of cap space because De'Aaron Fox is also a free agent. Uh, can I sign De'Aaron Fox? Okay, I can. But then can I also sign Luka Doncic? Um, I think I could sign both, but let's see. I don't even know if I would get Luka. We could try to sign Steph or KD. I feel like I should use the money for sure, like elsewhere, like Brandon Ingram. So let's see what happens here. So we get, oh my God, let's go. We're going to pick up, okay, I'm not going to be able to sign all of these guys. So let's renounce rights on everybody. Can I sign Luka Doncic and De'Aaron Fox? Let's go. Oh, <laughs> that is what I'm talking about, man. We are going to sign Luka Doncic to be a Buffalo wing. And boom, there we go. So this team is interesting. We have about seven guys in the rotation at the moment. I'm going to try to pick up Earl Jenkins here on a three-year deal. Can I sign him on that, please? That'd be huge. Let's go. Man, those G League guys could have some good value. I'm going to offer Jay Sean Tate a three-year deal to be a Buffalo wing. And I think for this upcoming year, I may move Luka to a small forward. So right now, it would be Fox... We have Dario, Brown, and George at the two guard. We have Luka Doncic and Jay Sean Tate. Earl Jenkins at the four. And then Gardner and Sullivan at the five. Anybody else switch teams? Yep, Kevin Durant goes to the Bulls. So yeah, we do have a Bull team and a, well, yeah, Bulls. And I was going to say Bills, but no, we're the Wings. So got my Buffalo teams mixed up. It would be crazy if Buffalo had three professional sports teams. Because definitely, yeah, I feel like a smaller market. But yeah, obviously they have the Bills and the Sabres. So yep, it's going to be a strict nine-man rotation. But there's a chance we could have 490 overalls by the end of next year. We have come a long way since the beginning of this video all right so it's gonna be the nine-man rotation we're gonna have ed sullivan probably get 15 minutes a night um or 16 with tate and sullivan that's good with me we'll do 22 to george 24 to brown let's go 33 to gardner 26 to jenkins may be fine let's go 36 to luca let's go 34 to uh jovanovich i'm gonna butcher his name every time so i just gotta keep calling him dario or dj um we'll actually do something like that there we go so system proficiency four star pace in space Road game to start the year against the Celtics, and we win 111-104 in overtime. Oh, this is going to be a fun season. We may go above 500. I think we will. And we start off the year. Can we go on 4-0? Yep, 5-0. Four and zero. I'll take that to start the year. All right. So here at the trade deadline, we are thirty six and 15, 21 games above five hundred. Just a few years ago, we were zero and eighty two. And now look at us, man. We started from the bottom, and now we are here. Dario averaging twenty three points. Gardner averaging a double double. There is Luka Doncic, obviously flirting with triple doubles left and right. So I'm not going to make any trades at this year's trade deadline. Let's hope we can maybe end the season with fifty wins. I'm okay with that, and that should be a realistic ending to the twenty twenty seven season. And we signed the twenty twenty seven MVP last year. Buka Doncic wins it. Of course, though, he's in a Wizards jersey. See, I wasn't lying to you. That was the team that we rebranded. Nice. Kevin Hart just stopped being a comedian and he ends up winning Rookie of the Year. He just grew a little bit from four feet tall to seven foot one. We do get Luka Doncic on all NBA first team and we did get Earl Jenkins on all rookie first team. So the Buffalo Wings ended the season with a 61 and 21 record. DJ puts up 22 and a half points, five rebounds and five assists in year three. He's up to a 90 overall. Yeah, that Michael Jordan ceiling was kind of accurate. Darren Fox had 19 points and almost eight assists jim gardner 15 points and 10 rebounds he's up to an 89 overall let's go we're taking on these charlotte hornets in the first round of the playoffs they have lamello benedict mather and brandon miller jordan wara and they have simon black here he was pretty good he was the fourth overall pick in 2024 are we able to beat them and advance here to the second round of the playoffs boom there we go we end up winning in five with buka Doncic averaging 27 11 and seven all right so we're taking on the miami heat here in round two i mean they have clay thompson did we trade Clay Thompson to them. 
I guess so. Yeah, they have Tower Hero running the point, which is probably pretty smart at this point if they don't have a better player than him. So can we beat them in advance to the conference finals? Nope. We, oh my God, they blow a 3-0 lead. We go down 3-0 and we came back and won the series. That is, that's too good. So we're taking on the Detroit Pistons. They got Nick Claxton at the five. They got Clint Capella off the bench with Tyus Jones. There's Patrick Carney. He's been on a couple teams since Buffalo, but he's pretty good. Can we beat them and go to the NBA finals? Yes, we can. We're going up against Zion Williamson. And can we beat the Pelicans in the finals? No, we end up getting swept. All right. So we kind of run through the Eastern Conference. I mean, the Heat probably should have beat us, but then we end up getting swept by the Pelicans in the finals. Hey, I think we'll win a final next year. Don't worry. So a bunch of notable retirements. A lot of guys from the 2009 draft class like Steph, Drew Holiday, and DeMar DeRozan. Draft lottery time, it would be sick if I had like a random first round pick in here. We do have Detroit's pick at 29. We have so many second round picks. All right, I'm going to make this trade with the Dallas Mavericks. I'm giving them Bruce Brown and Jay Sean Tate and two late first round picks here for Nas Reed and Rui Hashimura. So yeah, there was a stud number one overall pick, Todor Kafka, who maybe I should have thought about trading for because he would just be so cheap and affordable and then I could still get a max contract. You know what? Maybe that's not a bad idea. I don't know if the Clippers have enough cap space to take on like De'Aaron Fox's contract. They might, honestly. Mm, no, because they're still paying James Smith all that money. Um, We did get Daryl Nash there at 36, 41 Ted Nance, Donald Quinn there at 44, and that's the, just the three guys I'm going to sign. Yeah, like I would have to maybe take on James Smith's contract. I don't even know if they would do this deal. Okay, yeah, never mind. So uh, DJ and Gardner are going to come back on the team options. Damn, Giannis is a free agent. That would be like an insane pickup. All right, boys, we are making a massive trade here. I'm going to be sending De'Aaron Fox and Rui Hashimura and a second round pick for Marco Fultz and Paolo Bancaro. Yes, now we're going to have a 3-4-5 of Luca, Bancaro, and Gardner. We could still move Luca to the one if we wanted to. I would like to maybe look to move Luca, but I'd have to sign somebody on like a mid-level exception. All right, so I feel like Killian Hayes would have solid trade value just because he's 25. So I'm going to offer him a three-year deal. Hopefully we can pick him up and still bring Keontae George and Ed Sullivan back. Okay, we are good there. And are they restricted? They are not, but I'm pretty sure I gave them the qualifying offers. I hope so. Okay, yeah, I did. So we're good there. So if I were to package Marco and Killian Hayes, what could I get? Ooh, we could get Tower Hero. That's interesting. We'd move DJ to the three and then Luka back to the one. We'd also get DeJounte Murray as well. So like we can only really get around $30 million. Well, this one... $40 million for Tower Hero. So let's just see if I can get a better option than Hero. Darren Fox, should we get him back? I feel like Lonzo Ball would be a really good fit on this team. So if we did Fultz and Hayes for Lonzo, I feel like they'd say yes to this straight up. I don't know if I can maybe ask for a first round pick back. Let's offer this to them. They say no. Okay, what about without the first? They also say no. All right, so yeah, do I want like Tower Hero or do I want Lonzo Ball? I feel like Lonzo Ball would fit this team better. So I'm willing to give up, I guess, two first round picks to get him. And they say yes to that. So we are going to have a Lonzo, DJ, Luca, Paolo, Gardner, one through five. And then hopefully I'm able to get Keontae George and Ed Sullivan back on the QOs. And we should be good to go. Boom. There we go. We get all three of them back. Here's player progression. We could have 490 overalls again by the end of the year. All right, so this is hopefully an 82-0 team this season. I mean, it's not going to go 82-0. Is that Ed Sullivan? He's down to a 75. Damn, I thought he was a little bit higher than that. Uh, so Earl Jenkins is off the bench. He'll get like 17. We're going to go 15 to Sullivan, 22 to Nas Reed, 23 to Keontae George. I would like to go at least 33 to the front court. I don't know why Paolo would only get 28 minutes. Let's go 36 to Luca, And then let's probably just go 33 minutes to DJ. System proficiency is four stars with this team. When is our first loss going to be? We started off this year 1-0, but then we ended up losing to the Knicks. All right, so we are 44-6 and six currently at the trade deadline. We are having an incredible season finally, man. We have started from the absolute bottom, and now we are one of the best teams teams actually the best team in the league DJ is averaging 24 points, four and a half rebounds, six assists. There's Luka Doncic, Paolo Bancaro, Keontae George. There's Jim Gardner, Lonzo Ball, averaging eight assists and a steal and a half a night. Nas Reed, Earl Jenkins, Ed Sullivan. This team should win the finals this year, and then hopefully next year is when we can get maybe a little bit closer to actually going 82 and 0. And there we go. We eclipsed 70 games this season. We are going to go 71 and 11. Luka Doncic wins MVP for the Buffalo Wings. We end up getting coach and executive of the year as well. Luka Doncic on all NBA first team. You have Josh Giddy on the Phoenix Suns now. We get Lonzo Ball on all defensive first team. He's like the perfect glue guy for this team. He's going to rebound, defend, pass, shoot the ball really well. And we are, of course, the one seed in the Eastern Conference going up against the Chicago Bulls in round one, who do have Kevin Durant. They have the stud Reggie Baxter. They have Johnny Davis. Um, So wait, they actually have the Wisconsin backcourt of Reggie Baxter and Johnny Davis. That's kind of fun. So here are the stats from this past season. You guys just saw him at the deadline. Paolo Bancaro would have liked for him to be 
a little bit better. What are the odds we can go undefeated in the playoffs? That would be pretty cool. So we already won game one against the Bulls and there goes my dream of going undefeated because we ended up beating the Bulls in five. Then we end up sweeping round two and round three against the Raptors and the Pistons. Luka is taken over and then you have DJ, Paolo Bancaro, Keontae George, there's Jim Gardner, Nas Reed, uh, Lonzo, Earl Jenkins, and Ed Sullivan. Scoring wise, we're taking on the Thunder in the NBA Finals who are starting Brendan Barry, Wendell Carter Jr., Kevin Martin Jr., Okay, their bench maybe looks better. Why isn't Chad Holmgren starting? They have Jalen Brunson for some reason as well. We end up sweeping them. So what are you, the second game of the playoffs we lost to the Bulls and then we didn't lose again? Luka Doncic is your finals MVP. Kevin Durant, James Harden, Jimmy Butler, Vooch, Kawhi, Middleton, Lillard, Green all retire. KD, Harden, Lillard, Kawhi, and Jimmy Butler all head to the Hall of Fame. Bunch of jersey retirements as well. We do have the sixth overall pick via Philadelphia. All right, we could maybe leverage that if we want to upgrade a certain spot. I'm going to bring back Mike Stauffer as our head coach. He did a good job turning this team around. Just kidding. He ends up leaving us. Well, that is unexpected. All right. I did have to offer some other head coaching positions um, just in case we don't get him. So yeah, he doesn't want to sign with us. We could actually not get Quinn Schneider, unfortunately. So Taylor Jenkins for the final year is going to be our head coach. So with the sixth overall pick, we'd be in the Jonathan Sheldon kind of category. He is a forward out of Fresno State. Shout out Paul George. It looks like the consensus number one is Boyd Dean out of Maryland. Whoa, we could actually pull off this crazy trade of Nas Reed, Lonzo Ball, and pick six for Triple J and pick number one. I guess I'd take that center, but honestly, Nas Reed may be better next year for us though. So I don't know if that's smart. So I think I'm just going to take best player available. So yeah, Boyd Dean's a seven foot two center. He's pretty good, but I think like Jim Gardner is much better. There's a low price out of Michigan. Okay. The Warriors, it looks like are, no, nah, I thought they were trading the pick at four. So there is Clint Wilcox, who was kind of projected to go really high, who I think I may take with this selection. And let's hope for the best. He's a 21 year old point guard from Memphis. He is five foot 10, 160. So he's kind of smaller there. He is a 75 overall. That was not the right pick to make. Let's pick up Gardner's, Nance, uh, Nash, and Quinn's team option because we may make one move here. I wouldn't mind getting like that 10th spot in the rotation. We are going to bring back Ed Sullivan and DJ. They are both restricted. Keontae George wants $25 million. That's a lot of money, but I feel like we got to bring him back. All right, I'm going to make this trade with the LA Lakers. We're giving them Clint Wilcox, who maybe I drafted a bust there at pick six, or just maybe not a great pick. Daryl Nash and Donnell Quinn. For Dustin Castro, who's a power forward, former 18th overall pick out of Kansas on the Lakers, and Seth Pope, a former 10th overall pick um, out of Duke, also on the Lakers. So we're going to make that trade. We're going to hopefully bring back Keontae George, DJ, and Ed Sullivan. DJ takes a deal from the Denver Nuggets, four years, 167. We are going to match that. Hopefully, I'm able to sign him and Keontae George. Boom, there we go. And then lastly, I would like to bring back Ed Sullivan for way too much money. Okay, so yeah, hopefully we just get him back on the qualifying offer. All right, so let's finish up free agency. We get Ed Sullivan back on the QO. Here is player progression. I'm still saying that we're going to get 490 overalls. I thought maybe five, but that is not going to be the case. All right, and we are going to do this trade here before the season starts. We're going to trade Lonzo Ball, Earl Jenkins, and Ted Nance for Derek Jones Jr. Welcome back to Buffalo. And we're getting Amen Thompson, who I think I'm going to make the starting point guard. And the Rockets do agree to that. So I could opt to make Luca the point guard, DJ the shooting guard, and keep a, a men as the uh, shooting guard or make DJ the small forward. But I think I'm just going to move him back to the point guard. Does he go down? Nope, he actually goes up. Let's go. And just like, look at the size from this one, two, three. Like, I'm in six, seven. DJ 6'8", Lucas 6'7". I think I'm going to get the 10-man rotation I wanted. So yeah, Seth Pope is going to get like 10 minutes a night who we just got from the Lakers. We're going to go 13 to uh, Ed Sullivan. We're going to go like 18 to Reed, 20 to George, probably 22 to Dustin Castro. Then we could try to get at least 32 to Bancaro, 30 to Gardner, 34 Luca. Hmm, 30 to um, Amen Thompson, 31 to DJ just for the regular season. Hopefully this team can go 82 and over four and a half star balance. All right, so let's see what we can do. We start off the season with a back-to-back. -back. How cruel is that? Oh my God. Why did you make me start off the season with a back-to-back -back 2K? That is so unfair. Then we're going to play so many games on the road. We almost lost to the Heat. If I go 81 and one, and that's my only loss, I'm going to cry. All right, we just had a monster win against the Bulls. We are six and one to start off the year. Luca, DJ, Bancaro all went off, and we are nine and one, ten and one. We just did another back to back. I don't know if both those games were on the road, but an 11 and one start. Oh, and we did lose a second game this year to the Charlotte Hornets by six. Damn, Lamella went off on us. There's is that Ace Bailey? No, it's Amari Bailey. He's like, what? I was only playing 15 minutes a night. That is just brutal. All right, we can still win 80 games though. We just can't lose again for the remaining part of the season. All right, so we have a back-to-back -back here against the Pistons and the Thunder, which is tough. And we are 31-2 and on the year. We just blew out the Thunder by 30. We haven't really had a close, close game 
honestly, since that 98-81 win against the Hawks a little bit ago, we have been blowing out teams now that we're in full stride. Like, we just beat the Blazers by 23, and that seems like that's, like, not a major victory. 38-2, man. Things are looking good. We are blowing out teams left and right. We are here on January 15th. 40 games through the season. You can see our profit, negative 610 million. We are broke as hell. 39-2. Obviously, we are the one seed. 39-2. Damn it, I feel like this could have been an 82-0 team. Uh, 130 points per game, uh, 11 higher than the Miami Heat at number two. And then we do have the best defensive team um, and by far the best point differential, at least in the Eastern Conference. Just taking a look here at the stats on the year, you have Luka averaging 22, 8, and 10. There's DJ Amin Thompson averaging 18, 6, and 8, 1.7 steals as well. The efficiency is also somewhat better for us, which you love to see. How many 90 overalls could we have at the end of the year? We have two. We have four right now. Paolo can get there. Okay. Castro could also probably get there over time as well. Are we going to lose again? Are we going to go 80 and 2? I think we can do it. I feel like this team is so well balanced. It's young. I have a 10-man rotation. Everything is going right for us right now. Oh, we just beat the Celtics by 3. 111, 108. But then a couple days later, we beat them by 34. So yeah, they weren't able to capitalize on making it somewhat close for, with us on January 21st. Then we blow out the Grizzlies, the Clippers, the Raptors, the Heat. Oh my God, we just beat the Sixers by 51. Only beat the Rockets by six. It's probably because Lonzo was pissed. We are here at the trade deadline with a 50 and two record. What is our current winning streak right now? 37 games. That's wild. We better have the MVP this year. It better be Luka Doncic. There he is. Front runner for MVP. Do we have anything else? Taylor Hendricks for Sinks Man of the Year. Shout out to him. That was it. Did Paolo? No morale boost. He is maybe not happy in his role here. Are we five-star system proficiency? Now nah, we're so close though. And Luka Doncic wins MVP. Boy Dean, who was the number one overall pick, rookie of the year. Taylor Hendricks, six man of the year. Mobley Depoy in Orlando. Shout out to Derek Whitehead. Winning most improved in LA. You got Trey Young in Toronto. Oh my god. We finished 82. I'm so pissed. I'm so pissed. We were so close. So close to going 82 and 0. That is insane. 80 and freaking 2. This may be one of the best teams I have ever built. Tell me we're going to go 16 and 0 in the playoffs. Tell me we're going to go 96 and 2 this season. Tell me we're going to do it. Tell me. Oh, no. We lost once to the Bucks. Damn it. I thought we were going to go 16 and 0 in the playoffs. But unfortunately, the Bucks beat us. And we lost one game last year. Back to back years. We go 16 and 1 in the playoffs. Are you kidding me? I think this is my best 2K24 team by far. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Drop a like if you did. Let me know any other challenges you guys want to see in the comments below. I love you guys, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.